I will take you to a small village in Bushenyi district in western Uganda. That village was Christian Chambora due to the circumstances of the people. Chambora is an amazing sunken depression, and in there are some of Uganda's wonders. You will find very beautiful canopy trees and a number of bird species. The gorge also harbors the only family of habituated chimpanzees in Africa. The name Chambura, meaning lost treasure, is derived from Runyankole, the local language in the Queen Elizabeth Park area. Since agriculture was and remains the major traditional activity here, locals followed a huge flowing river in search for silt, but never quite found it. This rich dark brown soil that the people needed to grow their crops was carried away by the river. It is said they were too slow for the fast flowing river and so failed to get the silt and then named the village Chambura. Even the sunken trough that was gorged in by the fast flowing water was named Chambura Gorge. The river and the forest took after the same name as well. And these people ended up in Lake George, as you can see it on the other side, and then Lake Edward on the left, which would be in the west, and uh, they failed to find the silt. This silt was very, very important to them, especially in farming. Our visit to the Chambura Gorge is briefly hampered by a short downpour, but we still have the spectacular view to take in. Situated in the western arm of the East African Rift Valley and within the Queen Elizabeth National Park, the Chambura Gorge stretches over 15 kilometers and is one of the three sanctuaries of the park. That's about 100 million years ago. There were several forces that came after the movement of the earth. And these forces will have the tensional forces and the compressional forces. The forces that go away would make the land flat. The forces that would come together, they, that's the tensional forces, they push the land up. That's why you see there is a ridge that separates the community from the park. A thick evergreen forest with huge trees and colorful butterflies gives the gorge one of the most magnificent views. Beneath the huge trees runs the Chambura River, creating an ever moist atmosphere that appears misty from a distance. But because of the forest within the gorge, we have managed to have the fog form. And uh, when the trees release these gases into the ozone layer, then we get a happy cloud. It comes a day beautiful one for us. The sound of the running water coupled with other water breeding animals and the cries of animals within the game park gives visitors in the overlooking Chambura Lodge a relaxing moment. Unfortunately, animals in the park face extinction from poachers who kill them for game meat. But one thing we are not lucky to see are the chimpanzees that live in the gorge. We are told the primates are difficult to locate, especially after a downpour. We resort to tracking other chimpanzees in a nearby sanctuary, the Kalinzu Forest Reserve. All geared up for the long trek that we are told would take close to three hours, we listened very keenly to the house rules. But an adventure that we thought would be fun and filled with light moments turned quite the opposite. The slippery, hilly and shrubby ground with occasional crossing streams made it very difficult for us to easily find our way. But perhaps luck was not on our side. The, uh, these chimpanzees stay in the wild, so they are ever moving from one place to another. So if you are lucky, you can see them, and if you are not lucky, you may not see them. Not every day is a lucky chimp tracking day. Even after keeping our voices low and moving for over one hour, we have failed to track even one chimpanzee. Our high expectations were dashed like a prick balloon after our guide said the primates could not be found and we had to give up the chimpanzee search. When expeditions like the Chambura one we undertook are not that successful, the thinking is that another journey would be in order. We may not have been that lucky, but like they say, luck lady luck smiles at different people at different times. You may be lucky in Chambura and see the much sought after chimpanzees. So while in Queen Elizabeth, a date with Chambura could be worth a while. I'm Isabel Nakiria for NTV Connect.